Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to create a very, very simple destruction animation. Okay, and I'm going to point out a few things you can do to make your animations kind of less jittery and a bit more stable, like this one. Okay, let's begin. So this is my default scene, but I'm just going to start from scratch. Delete all this. My lovely template scene. And I'm going to add a floor, okay? And then I'm going to add a cube. This is, this is groundbreaking stuff right here. What Jurassic Park was built on. Anyway, sarcasm for the Americans. Okay, I've got a cube and I have a floor. Okay, now we need to make them dynamic, meaning physics applies, okay? So I'm going to go to the floor, tags, simulation tags, collider body. I'm going to click on the tag and I'm going to set it to shape static. Basically meaning the floor is just going to stay still. Gravity is not going to make it fall and it's just going to be an immovable object. Okay, now onto the cube. Now first we want to add a Veroni fracture, which is available. Uh oh, I didn't check before making the tutorial. MoGraph. Ver Voronoi, Voronoi Fracture. I'm going to drag the cube under it and you can see instantly that our cube has been broken into several pieces. Okay, I want more pieces, so I'm going to click Voronoi Fracture, hard word to say, and I'm going to click right here and I'm going to increase the point amount to Let's be, let's put the CPU to the test, 80. And you can see more chunks. High quality, hmm. Sounds like a CPU killer, <laughs> no. Okay, let's make it 100. I'm sure my five gigahertz overclocked CPU can handle it. Okay, so now onto this Veroni fracture, again, we're gonna add a simulation tag, simulation tags, tags, simulation tags, and a rigid body. And it automatically knows, apply tag to children, all great. Now, let's just play it back. Oh, well, something's happening, but what is this? Well, something appears to be happening, but not what we want. So I'm just gonna add a gravity, which I have a, a shortcut but it's basically under simulate forces gravity. Yeah, gravity kind of helps, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Now the gravity is not going to be strong enough. Let's play it back. Yes, unless you want some dramatic, like if this object was like, I don't know, 100 meters tall, might be realistic. We can increase the gravity to say 2,500. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's acceptable. Now, you'll notice there's a little jittering sometimes. Um, and things sliding and it's just, it's, you just want it to be a bit more stable. So there's a few ways you can do it. First, you wanna go to your tags. And if you, want, if you want a nice sticky kind of surface, you wanna reduce the bounce a lot down to like 2% and you wanna increase the friction to say 95%. Also, the collision noise, you want to make 0.1%. Um, same with the floor. Bounce, nope. 3%, lots of friction, but not too much. 96 and collision noise, 0.1. In addition to this, in addition, we can also go to Edit, Project Settings, a secret area. On the Dynamics, Expert, you can actually increase the steps per frame. This was actually set at 445, I believe. And the more you increase the steps, the more, uh, the less, less error occurs, which is basically jittering and objects kind of like just flipping around for no reason. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna set it to 16, 16, and the error threshold to 1%. And I'm just going to play it back. 
sorry, just adjusting myself. Okay, just to give you an example, let's use some bad settings. So let's go two, two, give it like a 20% error threshold. Let's see what happens. And this is the kind of crappy animation we tend to get sometimes, isn't it? It's like that is not Jurassic Park quality. So now watch. Let's put those steps to 16. 16, two. Oh, oh, it's behaving itself. Thank you. How nice of you. So basically a combination of the secret dynamics expert settings and the settings on the tags. You might want it to slide a little bit more, but that's the gist of it. And if you want to be real hardcore on the CPU, you can actually set the shape from automatic to moving mesh. Ho ho ho, CPU killer. Wait, look, I can't even, yep, look. Oh, what's, no, it's not even running. It's not even running. I bet OBS Studio just crashed. Why is it exploding? Uh, moving mesh and you can even define your own mesh, but that's for another tutorial. This is a quick VFX tutorial, how to break something very quickly. There you go, five minutes done. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.